What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of a Tech once again. And today we have the numbers for the RTX 3050 with a full 100% hash rate unlock due to, of course, the latest driver from NVIDIA. So, yes, we kind of are using this as news because Rabid Minding already reported on it this morning, but the latest driver from NVIDIA has fully unlocked all of the RTX 30 series light hash rate GPUs. The key one here that I wanted to take a look at, of course, is the RTX 3050 because it's one that never got a full unlock. So we're going to look at the hash rates for it and the tuned in optimizations for it as well, right after a word from today's sponsor. Established in 2017, OctoMiner is an international mining hardware company. They manufacture and engineer the best mining equipment in the industry and supply rigs to some of the largest mining farms around the world. Their GPU mining rigs also integrate with the top crypto operating systems like HiveOS, MinerStat, and Simple Mining. All parts come with an international one-year warranty. Exciting news! They will be adding ASIC miners for sale to their website soon and launching a new product built specifically for ASIC home miners. Please visit octominer.com or email support at octominer.com for questions. Welcome back. So uh, let's go ahead and hop into it. If you guys aren't aware, the RTX 3050 actually does look pretty good for mining. Why is that? Because it does have eight gigabytes of GDDR6 and it does have a 128 bit bus, meaning versus its red team competitor with the kind of 6500 XT series, it does have a larger memory bus, and this does total out to 224 gigabytes per second of bandwidth. When this initially was coming to launch, obviously it had the latest revision of the light hash rate lock, and there was no way to go ahead and get it fully unlocked, even when we got the 100% light hash rate unlock for V1 and V2 of the LHR modules. Now, the presumption was, of course, that we had some sort of hardware lock on these GPUs. Right now, it's hard to tell whether or not that's true. It looks like by just pushing out a driver update, meaning anybody could have dug through the drivers and picked up a way to 100% unlock these, it's unlockable. So it doesn't look like there was any hardware verification process that would unlock it necessarily. Of course, drivers could have updated it. Suffice to say, at the end of the day, if somebody dug hard enough and was smart enough, just via software, we probably could have figured out a way to unlock all of these GPUs early on. All of that being considered, what we essentially have is a GPU that should be at least as good at mining Ethereum as a Polaris GPU, talking, you know, RX 480, RX 580, 470, 570, as far as performance goes, modified, right? And then once locked in, we should see even better. Now there is a new test miner that basically functions with the new NVIDIA driver and supposed to be out of the box, ready to work with these. You can check that out uh, with the link in the description. However, I initially just tested with LOL miner version 1.50. And if you install the latest driver from NVIDIA, which I'll leave linked down below for the 40 series release, it will just go ahead and go straight to basically about 25 mega hash a second once you get in the overclock for the GDDR6 within Afterburner, which is going to put you around 1150 megahertz plus on that, then which would translate to like you know 2600 megahertz if we were talking about Hive OS. We get the full 30 mega hash a second. Now, without tuning the core in or anything like that, you are going to be sitting around 120 watts. However, this will clock down all the way. It will go down very, very, very far to essentially 731 millivolts and still maintain around 30 mega hash a second and that's around 1340 megahertz on the core what this resulted in on ethereum was 74 watts and that was reported in the software i'll work on of course verifying this at the kilowatt later on this ends up looking very very good you know getting close to that 0.4 uh, mega hash per watt, which is kind of the sweet spot for Ethereum or the ET hash based coins. Now, 
we would be amiss if we didn't take a look at Ergo as well, because if you recall, Ergo was still being affected by the light hash rate lock as well. And the RTX 3050 actually performs even more impressively on Ergo, where if you use the same overclock settings as you did on Ethereum with essentially the plus 150 megahertz on the memory side, and then you go ahead and bring the core down to 731 millivolts utilizing the curve editor and 1342 megahertz on the core clock, you can see essentially what is equivalent of 75 mega hash a second at 64 watts. That does put it at basically 1.2 mega hash a second per watt, which if you take a look at the kind of the, the sheets for best efficiency, that is coming very, very close to all the rest of the 3000 series GPUs and is super impressive. So if you were looking for a cheap GPU or you have an RTX 3050 right now that you're gaming on and you wanted to throw it at a miner, there are some options here. Does it make it profitable in anything? No, right now, as you guys know, with this, we don't have profitable GPU mining. So as it sits today in, you know, October of 2023, no, or in October of 2022, no, we don't have anything that's profitable on the RTX 3050. However, that can change down the line. So making sure we keep up to date and testing all of these things, I think it's important. I'm super impressed with the RTX 3050 now that the light hash rate lock has been fully lifted. I'd like to hear your thoughts and comments down in the description below. And if you need help getting going or anything like that, check out sonofatech.locals.com or of course the rocket chat for Son of a Tech. I hope you guys have a great day. Be sure to hit the like, comment, subscribe, and notification bell down below, and I'll see you next Tuesday. For additional content that also goes into more opinionated pieces surrounding the politics around crypto, make sure you check out sonofatech.locals.com. There you can become a member for free or even choose to support for basically additional content at $5 a month. It's helping me stay alive through the crypto winter.